Hi guys, I want to show you our new cooktop that we purchased at Lowe's. Uh, it's the Frigidaire electric cooktop and it cost uh, $589 I think. I will post a link down below. It's hard. And it did take about a month to get here. Um, it was out of stock and on the reviews I think it was only 24 20 it was a uh, almost five stars and um, this is how he's removing the electric wires it's just his ground hmm? and we're it's gonna see normal. if this works He's going to try to unscrew oh. this, and I oh. think he's having trouble unscrewing this. I think it's been eight years. Since um, we purchased our okay. first one. So, Is now it's broken, celular? and we're getting okay. our second one. Grande? And I guess you're supposed to... And screw those three wires. And he looks like he's having a hard time, but as long as you can see what he is doing here, then that's all I need. He's having a little hard, hard time doing this but he is not a electrician or you know he doesn't know he is doing what he thinks uh, what he thinks um, is going to work so I'm not sure this is the second time doing for him doing this but I mean he fixed it and he saved us some money so he did it himself And there you can see. This is how you take it off the Mexican stuff. They're style. all unscrewed. And now it's time to take out this electric um, metal from here that belongs to the cooktop. And then we're ready to take it off and bring the new one in. And that is our old model, is a general electric cooktop. And here you can see I cleaned the edges before we put the new one. And I used Totally Awesome. I got this from the dollar store, and this is the best degreaser for the best price for a dollar. So, yeah. I highly recommend this degreaser and here we got the new electric cooktop coming and we did have some trouble with it um, it did not fit and mm -hmm. we couldn't find one that fit so we had to make adjustments to make it fit and we had somebody come and cut the granite a little wider and yep it did not fit here you can see and uh, once we got that in uh, we we got this clear silicone that we used to seal the edges and this is how he did it he you can see um, 
he did it himself he's not a he's not a pro at this <laughs> he hasn't done it he's done it a couple times but not you know he just decided to do his own and save us some money and this is how he did he used um this tape and he placed it like one inch apart from the uh, from the from the stove and he placed some on top of here just to make sure that it doesn't get all over the place because it dries quick and so he got this thing and you press and the silicone comes out and once uh, he was done he used his finger to spread and all he did was spread all around and he peeled the, the tape and it left a clean line like this clean cut and you'd see no mess and you leave it for about five hours and it'll be dry it, it dries quick really quick but to fully dry then i would leave it five hours and if i were you i'd do it at night if you're going to do it on your own that way nobody is touching the the stove or cooking and here i want to show you how it looks it five it has five of these and you put it on high and here that little box shows you which one it belongs to and it has one two number eight and then you go the highest one is hot if you go to high and then those two are the small ones and the large one is on the very corner and then there's two large and three small ones so yeah and here I'm gonna turn them on so you can see how they look and they are very hot you gotta you have to be really careful with this this is how they look not sure why the one in the middle is not uh, turning on it says it's supposed to be warm but I have no idea I will look that up maybe it's just supposed to be on warm but I don't understand why the the nozzle says high and warm and medium and all that just like the rest of them and this one doesn't light but I will look into that but thank you for watching I hope you like the video